What is good guys, the overused council has decided to suspect test Fermosa. I feel like this is the right decision, Fermosa has been really threatening lately, it has a lot of good feds, like... The only thing that you can really switch into Fermosa safely is like Toxapex, and even Toxapex takes so much damage from the plus one Z Hyper Beam, Breakneck Blitz. And this time the um, overuse council gave their own opinion how they feel about Fermosa, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm gonna read that out to you guys. So um, you have 70 games as per, as per usual to get your racks within the next, I think, two weeks. So the suspect test will last until the 7th of, yeah, will end on the 7th April. And Fermosa will be banned on the suspect test ladder. I feel like like I have used choice packs for Mosa lately too. That thing is so crazy. Like you leave with Fermosa, they leave with Landris, and you click Focus Blast then because they're gonna switch out, right? They're not gonna stay in. And then you they switch into like let's say they switch into Mega Scissor or Scissor. Of of course Scissor's not Mega Evolved turn one, but like let's say Scissor's Mega Evolved, Focus Blast just blows that thing away. Like I saw a Mega Scissor get Oaken from Specs Modest Focus Blast. I'm not remember if it was with 100%, but this thing is crazy. Like, yeah, it can get revenged by priority, but you can pair it with Tapu Lele, so the opponent cannot use priority moves. And you can also just switch out on a priority move, obviously. Let's just uh, read the the opinions from the overused council. I feel like this will be pretty interesting. So ABR's opinion. Okay. Fermosa is a very unique and multiplicated component of the metagame, but what it boils down to is a powerful strain which stunts growth and development. The main factor that separates Fermosa from other threats is, in my eyes, the need for limited specific checks to it rather than fluid counterplay. Due to Fermosa's immense speed and ability to ac accumulate speed boost from beast boost, it is not susceptible to traditional revenge killing. Yeah, exactly. You cannot simply use a choice Garfa and check it like you do with other offensive Pokemon. Yeah, so you can make this Fermosa how you need it for your team. If you need a speed boost Fermosa, you you run plus speed. But yeah, if you run if you want a spec set, you can run models and the special attack gets stronger and stronger. This way, you become a powerful wall breaker. Okay, okay, let's let's, let's move on. We have been here. As per this trade. We are left with two means of dealing with Fermosa, priority and walling slash tanking. Priority can definitely be used to do damage to Fermosa, but only super effective moves like Meta Mega Pinsa's quick attack or powerful ones like Ash Greninja Shuriken can outright Oko. More common scene priority moves like that of Mega Metagross come far from an Oko, so a bullet punch from Metagross does around 96 to 83. Therefore, most teams without great walls for Fermosa are left to use multiple priority users and still a few Pokemon will be lost in the process. In regards to pure walls, the options are still fairly limited. Fermosa's choice sets will, while certainly very powerful, are not impossibly to pivot around. However, the set that has really pushed this Pokemon past the breaking point for me is the Rising Z Focus Blast. Yeah, I agree completely with this. Uh, choice card Fermosa can be checked pretty easily, like you can go Landris on a U-turn if you predict correctly, you can go as self as Tangrowth on an Ice Beam, or you can go, I mean Toxapex obviously just walls the Scarf set. Toxapex also checks the Z Focus Blast, but yeah, the modest set with Quivalence into Z Hyper Beam, I feel like that does the most damage, I will cut that in a bit for you after reading this. Okay, let's move on here. The set not only allows Fermosa near flawless coverage with steps plus Ice Beam, but also the ability to switch moves. In addition to ri ridiculous raw power such as Oakwing Mega Scissor, it also occurs Mega Metagross obviously like easily. Like um, Z Focus Blast is just really clean. Um, when you want to hit, like if you don't want to risk missing Focus Blast, it's pretty nice. Okay, I got interrupted. I paused it real quick. Let's move on. As such, the usually good switches are Toxapex, Alone Merrick, Type of Phoenix, or Fable, and then some softer ones such as Taunty and Gengar. Yeah, I see Scarf Gengar a lot. The, the, the reasons are Scarf Gengar is kind of common at the moment is because of Fermosa. It's, just, it's one of the best checks for Ovenzi, honestly, to Fermosa. While it isn't impossible to run one of the great switches or a softer one plus priority, the current necessity for that is. 
and practically oh god I read I completely botched the sentence so it's overwhelming basically is what he's saying as a builder myself I find that Formosa perhaps enacts too large of a strain on team building when I'm going through the process of making a team one of the first thing my mind always goes to is well am I going to run Toxapex or Sigarf Ganger plus Mega Scissor or something along those lines I don't mean to use my personal experience as proof, but rather as insights into the practical implications of a straining Pokemon. Formosa has too f has too has too few solid switch-ins, and coupled with the fact that Beast Boost plus passable bulk prevents revenge killing, it is restricting. So he basically says it's not healthy for the meta game here. If I Got that last sentence correctly. Let me actually pause it real quick and show you the the calc from the um, Brand Night Blitz versus uh, Toxapex. So you can see here, Brand Night Blitz a plus one to a uh, fist of Toxapex is 90 to 106 percent from a modest Formosa, so basically kills after rocks. And if you want to spadef Toxapex, which is like I don't know the exact spread, but I think it's like 132 speed of calm, maybe some run a bit more. So it still does 74 to 88%, and if Toxapex goes for Haze, like, also Toxapex has to be at full to even be able to lift this. Like, if you have Hazards up, let's say you use uh, Hazards second team, Toxapex will not be at full. And even if Toxapex is at full, comes in and you go for Kubernetes and you go for Brand Let's 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 say you do 80%, so it's at 25%, and they basically have to switch out. Or otherwise, they still die. I assume to they still die to Focus Blast after. Actually, yeah, because I think the Brand Blitz set runs uh, Black Blitz, Black Knight Blitz, Kubernetes, Bug Blast, Focus Blast. I don't think it runs Ice Beam. So you, you have to risk hitting Focus Blast, or you can just go for Hyper Beam then. But I guess if you go for Hyper Beam, Farmosa can get Revenge next turn. Actually, what am I what am I saying? If if you do 80% with this, and you still kill with Bug Yeah, you just kill with Bug afterwards, you don't have to hit anything. So yeah, this just shows, like, one of the best checks to it can get beaten down by it, so this is crazy. I'm gonna have to give, um, try to make them these opinions from them. I'm gonna try to make this a bit shorter for you guys because it's way too long. So Bloods is basically saying that Faramos is too much for the OUT with uh, raw power and speed and it's versatile. And yeah, like we just call it, can get past its checks. And he says um, Ash Greninja cannot kill it. With water shrinking, if you manage to get up a Kuradance. Scarf and Specs Fermosa help to force switches. And yeah, he also says that a Z Focus Blast set, or Z moves in general, the Z move set helps to bluff a potential Scarf, and then the opponent might go into Landris or something, thinking it's Scarf, and then you get blown away, so yeah. So he's basically saying that he wants the world ban, and. You can often be put into positions where it's actually not possible to know the right play due to how strong versatile this Pokemon is. Blunder is saying um, that Formosa is unhealthy because it constricts building, does not allow for the opponent to have a counterplay, me counterplay measures, but in instead carry de designated hard stops. Yeah, this is exactly what we have seen lately. Toxapex has been on slept on offensive teams or just Toxapex balance has been way more common just because of this mon. So yeah, he basically says it's easy to rack up speed boosts with this uh, fast mon. No other scarver can outspeed you. You don't have to run a plus nature. No other scarver can um, take on the Faramosa lead. Offense in general has an incredibly hard time taking on Faramosa. His counterplay is reduced to priority spam, and even then, Faramosa will punish a team in the process so that they're basically forced to go for for the priority move. That's, that's, that's what I think is what he's trying to say. So, the Faramosa user can just switch out, the opponent is forced to go for the priority so he can take advantage. If you don't go for the priority, you risk getting threatened by Faramosa. The equivalent set is also, like, this is my personal opinion now, the equivalent set is also really. 
I almost want to say it's so stupid because you you almost can never switch out because if you switch out and get the equivalent, your team will just get swept most of the time. And yeah, as Blunder says here, Marowak and Tapu Fini, uh, the best checks besides Clefable and Toxapex, get overwhelmed by... Um, they don't have reliable recovery. Marowak is also weak to Stealth Rock. Yeah, Marowak is pressured to come in on U-turn. Offense has some counterplaying Pokemon that are, that, are that are gaining popularity, such as Gengar and Torn. But Gengar is still pressured by Ice Beam. Torn T is not a suitable counter unless hazards are removed. Simply, but, simply put, Fermosa has a complete chokehold on the current metagame that no other mon can claim. The restriction it puts on building is absolutely ridiculous and forces offense to run two or more strong priority users, Toxapex, Gengar plus another soft check, and for almost all teams to have Stealth Rocks off the field. Formosa's unpredictability covered with Beast Boost to punish offense or bulky teams respectively push it over the edge in the current metagame and it needs to be banned. Uh, yeah, basically. If the Megan wants to evolve, okay. So, I also wanted to add Formosa is basically, it's basically the best spinner at the moment because it's super fast. Like, if you need to get off a spin at all costs, Formosa will always get the spin off. Like, of course, as long as you don't have a ghost on the opposing side. But other than that, you always get the spin off if you really want to because this thing is so fast. Um, so we have like four more opinions or five more. Um, I feel like this is just gonna repeat and we have like talked about most of this, but I guess we'll have a look at Brofist's opinion because it's not that long. My stance on Pheromosa has changed a lot since the start of this generation. In the days when Aegislash roamed free, it was in my opinion as underwhelming as a Pokemon could be. As the metagame has developed, however, and players figured out what works best, Pheromosa has risen to become one of the most threatening Pokemon in the tier. The chokehold that Fermosa colony has on the Sunman OU meta game is unhealthy. Fermosa puts a huge strain on team building aspect of the game. So yeah, basically repeating what the other said, kind of. Forcing players to use a very specific thing, such as multiple priority moves on offensive teams and hard checks like Toxapex and other types of teams to deal with this. It has a multitude of different effective sets. Its most popular ones being Rapid Swim, plus the attacks with a Z-move, Choice Bags, Quivalence and Choice Scarf. Fermosa's sheer power, speed and fantastic offensive move pool allow for all of these to be equally deadly under the right circumstances. I'm a strong advocate of positive metagame development and I want Sun and OU to have great staying power for years to come. I believe Fermosa's presence in OU greatly hinders set development and because of this I'm currently leaning towards voting Ben. So yeah. They're basically all saying that Formosa needs to go, which I completely agree with. Yeah, also, yeah, Finchin had also said it restricts building. I'm just skipping through these other opinions because it's way too long. Surprise Z move to get a kill. Da -da -da. It had access to two of the best moves in the games, and driven saying you turn forget momentum or rapid spin to get rid of hazards. U turn means that Pharaoh, while Pharaoh is 100 percent walled by monsters like Toxapex, other monsters like CB Zygarde or Hooper can come in and hit really hard and start opening holes very easily. Yeah, I completely agree. What does PDC say? Pharaoh is despite its frailty. A ridiculous power, speed boost, blah blah blah. Couple, couple this with its incredibly useful ability Beast Boost, you have a mon which is nearly impossible to wrench with most choice garfers and forces the use of priority. Um, there are hard stops to Fermosa, being Toxapex, Merrick and Clef, and even Toxapex is not a hard stop if you run the Z Hyper Beam like we were calking earlier. But also you have these are incredibly easy to take advantage of, yeah, also, yeah they're also easy to take advantage, but yeah. Um, some f like you could at least you could also run specs HP ground for most of like hit stuff like Marowak and toxic packs. Um, I guess I can calc that, but I don't have to calc. That. You guys will know. Um, HP ground specs will blow those things away. Okay, um, specs runs um, HP electric most of the time. You hit Feeny and toxic packs, but yeah, HP ground is an option if you want to hit Marowak. So let me just skip through TDK. Okay, his so opinion is super long. So he listed some count counterplay.
Hermosa also has means of not being an uncountable being with good play. It doesn't simply turn a game around because of it because of its skill set. However, its present in existence it is deter determined God, I cannot speak. It's detrimental to the development to the development of the tier, good God. So yeah you guys will understand or like most of the opinions have been repetitive but yeah they all said it in different words so it's interesting you guys can read it for yourself if you want to read all the opinions i will leave the thread down below let me know what you think about this usually pokemon does a video about this um i have checked my sub box and i haven't seen a video about this yet so when this will up maybe probably other people have already made one because I'm actually uploading the Pokem FLCL was Pokem OST game at the moment. And I will upload this like one hour after. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe this. <laughs> like, I don't know, you could have read it yourself, but I feel like it's pretty interesting. And some people don't want to read it themselves. They just want to watch a video on YouTube. So let me know what you think about Fermosa. I completely agree with the audio council that this thing needs to go. I was playing early with Z move uh, fighting. This thing is so crazy. Like when I didn't want to risk missing focus plus, I just click Z fighting. Something gets blown away. I just click uh, like like it just gets one or two kills every game. I feel like, and if it doesn't get a kill, you can take advantage. Like some of the members of the audio council said, you can take advantage of its checks and just double switch or U turn into um, something that pressures that Fermosa's checks and then the opponent's team um, you can basically punch holes into the opposing team and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'm out